Once upon a time in a small village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived a wise Zen master named Hashin. Hashin was known for his profound wisdom and his ability to find peace and happiness in the simplest of things. One day, a young man from a nearby town heard of Hashin's reputation and traveled to seek his guidance. The young man was troubled, burdened by the complexities and demands of his fast-paced life. He yearned for tranquility and a deeper sense of contentment. Upon arriving at the humble dwelling of Hashin, the young man found the Zen master sitting outside, observing the vibrant colors of a single flower in full bloom. The young man approached Hashin, bowing respectfully. Master Hashin, I seek your guidance, the young man said with a hint of desperation in his voice. My life has become a whirlwind of responsibilities and distractions. I long to find peace and happiness amidst the chaos. Hashin smiled warmly and gestured for the young man to sit beside him. He pointed to the flower and asked, What do you see? The young man observed the flower, its delicate petals, and its radiant beauty. I see a flower, Master Hashin, he replied. Hashin nodded, his eyes sparkling with wisdom. Indeed, it is a flower, he said. And yet, it is more than just a flower. It embodies the power of simplicity. Perplexed, the young man looked at Hashin, awaiting an explanation. Hashin began to speak, his voice gentle and soothing. The flower does not strive to be anything other than what it is. It does not compare itself to other flowers or seek validation. It simply exists, embracing its own inherent beauty and purpose. He continued, in its simplicity, the flower teaches us a profound lesson. The power of simplicity lies in our ability to let go of complexities and expectations, to embrace the present moment without judgment or resistance. When we learn to appreciate the beauty in the ordinary, we find peace within ourselves. The young man reflected on Hashin's words, the significance sinking in. He realized that his pursuit of happiness had been clouded by unnecessary complications and desires. With newfound clarity, the young man thanked Hashin for his wisdom. He returned to his town, determined to simplify his life and focus on the essence of what truly mattered. Over time, the young man shed the burdens of excessive possessions, responsibilities, and expectations. He learned to savor the simple joys, a warm cup of tea, a quiet stroll in nature, and moments of genuine connection with loved ones. As he embraced simplicity, the young man discovered a profound sense of peace and happiness blossoming within him. The chaos of his previous life faded, replaced by a deep contentment that radiated from his very being. And so, inspired by the wisdom of Master Hashin, the young man became a living testament to the power of simplicity. His transformation touched the lives of others, spreading a gentle ripple of tranquility throughout the world. From that day forward, the villagers would often say, in simplicity, we find true happiness, and they would remember the story of the young man who discovered the profound truth of the flower and the teachings of Master Hashin. The moral of this story is that true peace and happiness can be found when we simplify our lives and appreciate the beauty in the ordinary. In a world filled with complexities, distractions, and constant demands, it is easy to lose sight of what truly matters.